Hi guys, it's Chrissy and welcome back to another Sims 2 speed build. So today we're actually going to be building a kind of like mid-century style home. Now this is a style that I've never tried doing in the Sims 2 before. I've never tried building a mid-century kind of home. Most of the builds that I've done in the Sims 2 have been either like more traditional kind of things like the townhouses that I'm building for my custom neighborhood. Or they've been like really suburban, <laughs> like a regular suburban type houses. So yeah, this is a style that I've never tried. And it's one of my favorite styles actually to build in, especially in like The Sims 4, for example. So I wanted to try it in The Sims 2 and see what I could, you know, figure out and get done with it. But yeah, so there's a few things that aren't really all that great about this build. The roofing for one of them, it took me forever to figure out the roof for this build because the idea that I had in my head is something that I've done so much especially in The Sims 4 but in The Sims 2 it's just not like it's not as easy to do as it is in The Sims 4 and yeah it was it was really finicky and it took me forever to figure it out but I eventually get a roof a roof that I'm like kind of ha happy with so yeah, I just decided to leave it at that and not try and make it perfect or anything like that because it was just, it just wasn't happening. It just d it did not want to happen the way I wanted it to. So yeah, we're, we're just going to stick with that. You guys will see that I did cut out a bit of the roofing. I think I did. I'm If I like talk about something and I'm completely wrong and I can't remember what I did, that's because I finished this build like two weeks ago. I started it at the beginning of April, not the beginning of April, like mid-April, and then I finished it like two weeks ago. I took a break from it and then finished it about two weeks ago. So yeah, if I like completely forgetting like half of this build, that would be why. But I still really wanted to share it with you guys and yeah, I thought I would share it today because I don't know, I don't have a Sims 4 build done and I had this one done. So yeah, plus I really like the way this build turned out. That's not, not me just saying, oh, I didn't have anything else so I just had to do this. I actually really like how this build turned out and I did do it for my like, not technically a save file but like a neighborhood. Yeah, so this is for my like custom neighborhood that I'm creating in The Sims 2 called Greenwood Valley. And yeah, this is actually the first house that's going to be in this style in that neighborhood. I'm going to I'm planning on making a whole like little mini district kind of thing in the neighborhood that are all like mid-century style houses because I just I love this style, like I said, so I really want to do more stuff in this style. But before I do more more builds in this style, I really need to go hunting for some more like modern <laughs> custom content for The Sims 2. And I'm not talking about like furniture wise because furniture wise I'm good I think like buy mode. I'm thinking more about like build stuff like windows and doors especially. I really need some more modern things. And then also like wallpapers and stuff because I think the only build... Like, the only build custom content that I have right now, I think, is, like, Honeywell's Bespoke sets. So, I think those are the only, like, build things, like, doors, windows, wallpapers, flooring, stuff like that that I have. Obviously, I have a bunch of different buy items, like, CC buy items, but, yeah, I really need some more build stuff. Especially modern build stuff, because I just don't have any. But yeah, we've on moved on to the interior of this house. You guys will see that I did go for a very like yellow and orange color scheme for this build. I don't know why, but whenever I think about mid-century, I think about orange. That's just the first color that pops into my head. And I do, I build with blue a lot. So I was thinking about doing it like an orange and blue kind of build, kind of like contrasting colors. But I build with blue so much that I just, I didn't want to do it again. So I just decided to go for like an orange and yellow color scheme for this build. Which is, it's not super different from what I normally do. But it's a little bit different. I tried. I tried a little bit to make it look just a tiny bit different from my, li from my, from my like regular builds. So I hope you guys like that. But yeah, if you guys want to download this build, it is linked down below in the description. There's a download link to SimFileShare where you guys can download it. And it'll download it with all of the custom content and everything that I used. 
but if you guys ever want to go ahead and go and have a look at all of the custom content creators whose stuff that I use I always have linked in my sims 2 video descriptions I always have linked down below a list like a master list I guess I think that's what I called it like master cc list or something that's just a google doc link that you guys can go to and it lists all of the creators that I use so it doesn't list like all of the different sets and stuff but it lists all of the creators and it has a link to all of their like either their tumblr pages or their mod the sims pages and you guys can go to those links to have a look at all of their other creations as well because that's something that I always love doing if I know someone is including cc links in their like builds or whatever I love going to the creators pages and just having a look at all of the other stuff that they have as well so yeah, you guys can go and do that and like I said, the whole like bold download link is down below in the description as well if you guys want to download it. So yeah, this is a two bedroom, one bathroom house. I probably should have mentioned this way earlier in the video. But yeah, it's a two bedroom, one bathroom house and I thought it would be for like a, like either two parents or a single parent or whatever with a child boy. That's just who I had in my head. That's who I'm going to have live here in my like neighborhood. I don't know what their names are going to be any or anything like that yet. I don't really know their story or anything. But I know those are like the family dynamics that I'm going to have. Those are like the like rough idea of the Sims I'm going to have live here anyway. And the build turned out to be just over 100,000 simoleons. And it's built on a 30 by 20 lot. So technically in the Sims 2, the lot like sizing works a little bit differently it's a three by two lot in the sims 2 but if you guys are more familiar with sims 3 size not sims 3 sims 4 sizes then it would technically be a 30 by 20 lot so yeah that's the size of the lot and actually it's it's kind of it's actually the same size as two of the townhouse builds that i've done it's on the same size lot as two of the like really big townhouses that i've done but those townhouses are like ginormous. I think they're both like five bedrooms and six bathrooms or something crazy. But I mean, they are like townhouses. So they take up the whole width of the lot. And they take up most of the length of the lot as well. They don't really have that much of a backyard space. So yeah. And they don't even really have a front yard like at all. So yeah, the builds themselves are a little bit bigger, but for this one, because it is a mid-century house, I wanted to make it, for one, I wanted to make it one story. And I also wanted to have a, like, carport in it, and a swimming pool in the backyard, and, like, a little bit of backyard space. Because I think that's very, like, that's what I think of when I think of mid-century homes. I think of, like, sprawling family homes, one stories that have like a really big carport and a really nice backyard and just a very nice family style home I guess that's what I think of not to say that you have to you know play with the family if you do end up downloading this you could have just one sim living here or two sims or whatever but yeah that's just I don't know that's always the idea that I have in my head whenever I think of mid-century homes so yeah this build does have actually a two-car driveway so you can fit another car in here. I don't I don't believe I included the car in the like uploaded version of this lot. So you guys can put your whatever car you want your Sims to drive in the driveway. And then there's a pool, like I said, in the backyard. I also have a fire pit, a grill, some tables, and some lounge chairs. And yeah, that's basically the whole exterior. I didn't go ahead and put in any child like activities or anything. Mainly because I thought while the child might still be a child, while the kid might still be a child, I thought they might be quite close to turning into a teenager. So I kind of decorated their bedrooms as their bedroom as a like tween room. So not really a super young child, but not a teenager yet either. So like a preteen basically. So yeah, that's how I decorated their room, and that's why I didn't include any like play like items in the backyard. And yeah, I don't know. I just had a lot of fun with this build and using some items that I don't normally use. Like, I've had that leopard print, like, couch. Not couch, but chair, like, living chair that I use. I've had that chair in my game forever. And I've literally never used it, like, not even once. 
And I don't know why I decided to use it for this build. I just thought, you know what? We're going kind of crazy with like the patterned rugs and everything. And the color scheme and everything like that would match this. So we're just going to use the cl crazy leopard print chair. And I use it in the living room. And I think if I'm remembering correctly, I think I use it in the master bedroom as well. So yeah, it's a... Uh, it's something. <laughs> I don't know if I would necessarily call it something good, but it's something and it definitely adds a little bit of personality. Yeah, I can clearly picture the type of sim that would have a leopard print rug. Not rug, chair. What am I saying? A leopard print chair with like a very bright geometric rug. <laughs> That's just, I don't know. I just, I really like the look of it and it, it made me giggle when I put it in. And I believe I even shared a picture of it over on Twitter saying that I don't know why I'm using this, but I am. So yeah, there's that. But yeah, so I also wanted to ask you guys. I am basically just doing builds for my like neighborhood file at the moment for The Sims 2. Those, those are like the only builds that I've been doing. But I kind of wanted to ask you guys if you have any build ideas for The Sims 2 in particular. So I'm just talking about just Sims 2 builds, like stuff that you want to see me do in The Sims 2. So yeah, if you guys have any build ideas or things that you'd like to see me do or anything like that, let me know because it doesn't necessarily have to be for my for my like neighborhood file because I already have most of my neighborhood already planned out, so I already know most of what I want to do. But I'm just talking about like random one-off builds that you guys would like to see me do that I don't know, I probably wouldn't have thought of myself. So yeah, let me know if you guys have any Sims 2 build ideas. I know I still need to make the like last townhouse for my save file. Not for my save file. I keep saying save file. I'm just so used to the Sims 4 by now. But yeah, the last townhouse for the Quincy Street townhouses. I still need to do that one. And then I've started on a park build, but I don't know if I'm going to record that build or not, or if I'm going to show it on the channel or not, because it is just the park. It's not really all that super interesting, if you know what I mean. So, yeah, I don't know if you guys would want to see that, but I'm working on that park build, and then I'm planning on doing, like, a neighborhood overview video of my Sims 2 neighborhood of Greenwood Valley. Just because I mentioned this so long ago by now, but I asked you guys about it and some of you said that you would be interested in seeing that, in seeing how I laid everything out, how I laid out the roads and where I'm planning on putting stuff, like what districts I'm ha I'm planning on putting where, I'm planning on having like an industrial district and a like really suburban district and one that's all like really old Tudor, not Tudor style necessarily, but like really old manor houses and then I'm planning on having like a trailer park area and a beach area and a bunch of different like districts within this one neighborhood so yeah I was thinking I still need to do that video I just don't know when I'm going to do it honestly because I need to get all of my thoughts together first so that the video isn't just a huge big rambling mess of me trying to explain the same things over and over again because if you guys have been on the channel for a while by now you know that I suck at explaining stuff <laughs> I suck at explaining my thought process behind something so yeah I'm probably going to have to write down a bunch of notes before I try and do that just so that I can you know have all of my ideas in one place hopefully but yeah, that's basically, I think that's everything I wanted to talk about. I'm kind of debating on whether I want to leave this off with just some music for like the last two-ish minutes of this voiceover or not. Because yeah, I don't know. I don't have know what else to say. It's like 2 a.m. in the morning. I haven't done a voiceover this late in a while. Recently, I've been doing my voiceovers in like the afternoons, like right before the video is supposed to go out. So yeah, I haven't recorded this late in a while and my brain is slightly like what the hell is going on right now. So yeah, I don't know what else to say. I'm afraid I'm going to start rambling about random stuff that you guys just don't care about. So yeah, I think that's everything that I wanted to mention. Download link is down in, down in the description. 
I also have, like I said, a list of all of the CC creators that I use. And yeah, I think that's everything, you guys. I'm just going to end this off here before I make a complete fool of myself. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this build. If you did, give the video a like. And if you're new to the channel and you'd like to see some more Sims content, feel free to hit the subscribe button. And remember to turn on the notification bell as well to be notified of whenever I upload a new video. But yeah, I do make, if you guys are new to the channel and this is the first video of mine you're watching, I do make Sims 2 and Sims 4 videos. Mainly Sims 4 videos and yeah, so just keep that in mind. But yeah, I hope, you, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you're all having a great week so far and that you're all staying safe. And I will talk to you on my very next video. Bye guys!